What is going on Cardano community? Welcome back to the DAP Central channel. In today's video, I want to go ahead and walk you guys through the process of delegating to the DAP Central stake pool using the top four most commonly used wallets within the Cardano ecosystem. Now, before we jump into that, if you guys aren't aware of what staking is, on the network, you're able to basically contribute to the validation of blocks and the security of Cardano by delegating your ADA with a stake pool operator or a node operator. I, myself here, Farid, am going to be a single stake pool operator operating the official DAP Central stake pool, which is stake pool ticker DAPP. At the community's request, I'm going to go ahead and release this video, basically showing you guys how to delegate to the pool using the following wallets. First, we're going to use the NAMI wallet, followed by the NuFi wallet, and then we're going to jump into an example using the Eternal wallet. And then in closing of today's video, we're going to wrap up by delegating to the DAP Central Stake pool using the Uroi wallet. Now, I do understand that there are many other different wallet options within Cardano, and this is just going to be a first of probably an additional series of videos. So if you guys have any other wallets that you guys would like for to see me delegate using, then make sure to leave a comment down below. That said, let's go ahead and just jump straight into the first wallet, which is going to be the NAMI wallet. Now, before I jump into this, I do want to note that I will not be going through the actual um, wallet recovery process. So I'm assuming here that you guys have an existing wallet and that you guys have already um, gone ahead and imported your wallet and gone ahead and added some collateral as well. So in order to delegate, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and head over if we're using the NAMI wallet to pool.pm. Now, this particular website will actually allow for us to delegate and connect to a few of the wallets that I'm going to be covering today. But if you don't want to use pool PM, there's also additional ways to go ahead and delegate. Now, the one caveat here with NAMI is that if you're trying to delegate directly from within the NAMI wallet, let me actually pull it up here. What you're going to notice is that you're only going to be able to delegate to the Barry pool by default. Now, the Barry pool is going to be basically the people that created the NAMI wallet. And so therefore, um, at least from within the actual wallet itself, there's no way to delegate to any other wallets. So as you guys can see here, this delegate button is going to be available for me. As right now, I'm not delegated to any single stake pool. If I go ahead and actually click on this here, you're going to see that by default, it's going to allow for me to delegate directly to the Barry pool. But if you want to delegate to another pool, which in this case, we're going to be delegating to the DAP central stake pool, then I'm going to show you guys how we can go ahead and do that. So I'm going to close this out and I'm going to jump back over here. Now, I also want to just quickly show you guys here my wallet. So I'm going to open up the another tab and I'm just going to head back over to pool PM here. And what I'm going to do is just search for my ADA handle representing my wallet, which is going to be test underscore wallet. As you guys can see right now, it's not delegated to any stake pool. If it were, the actual stake pool that it's delegated to will be listed here down below. So, okay, let's go ahead and walk through the first example. So I'm going to head back over here into pool PM, and we are aware that our wallet is not yet delegated. I do want to quickly set my collateral, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to click on my icon here, click on collateral, and then enter my spending password. Now, collateral will be needed in order to make any transactions on the network. So definitely make sure to double check that your collateral is set and active. So now that I've done first my first step, what I'm going to do now is click on this search icon. And from here, I can quickly go ahead and search for the DAP central stake pool, which is stake pool ticker DAPP. As you guys can see here, that returns one single pool, which is going to be my stake pool. I'm going to click on that. And from here, I can quickly confirm the DAP stake pool ticker, the name below, the total amount of delegations, and the ADA value of those delegations. Now, in order to delegate using the NAMI wallet, all I'm going to do is click on join. And then from here, you can actually see all of the top wallets that we're going to be using as a part of this video. So the first wallet here that we can use is going to be NAMI, but you can also go ahead and actually um, delegate using the same exact method by using pool.pm with the Eternal wallet, the NuFi wallet, and the Uroi wallet as well. So first, since we're going to do NAMI, I'm just going to click on NAMI. And automatically, as you guys just saw there, I now have a transaction here prompting me to delegate with the NAMI wallet. 
I'm going to click on access. And then I'm going to be prompted to sign this transaction, which is going to be a two ADA fee. So I'm going to click on sign and then go ahead and confirm that transaction. And it should be relatively quick, but we will see that we have updated our delegation and that when we open our NAMI wallet, that we should now see that we're actually delegated to the DAP Central stake pool. As you guys can see here, the transaction has finished processing on the network. And I can now see right below my ADA handle, the fact that I'm now delegated to the DAP Central stake pool. If I jump back over into my NAMI wallet, as you guys can now see here, the gray delegation button that previously was here has now been updated to DAP, which is the stake pool that I'm delegated to. And then if I just click on that drop down arrow here, I can see a brief description of the pool as well as the available rewards right now. And then if you want to withdraw your rewards, you can go ahead and click on this option here. And then if I want to unstake, I can go ahead and actually click on this option in order to do so. So I'm going to quickly unstake here and then click on confirm. And as you guys can see there, the deregistration has officially been submitted. So we're going to give this a second to process again. And then I'm going to show you guys that we are no longer going to be delegated to the to the DAP Central stake pool. It appears that the deregistration has officially completed. And again, by just viewing pool.pm, we can see that we are no longer delegated to the DAP Central stake pool. And then if I click on the NAMI icon again, I now have the gray delegate button. So keep in mind here, if you're just using the wallet and you're just coming directly here without going to pool PM and connecting using the method that I just showed you by default, the NAMI wallet, and this is only for the NAMI wallet, will only allow you to delegate to the Barry pool. So that's going to be the very first wallet that we're going to use to delegate. The second wallet we're going to walk through the process of using to delegate is going to be the new Fi wallet. Now, as you guys can see, I have the new Fi wallet opened up in a separate tab. But if I wanted to, right, I could jump back over here to pool PM, search again for the DAP central stake pool, select the pool, click on join, and then actually just click on the new Fi wallet option. Again, you're going to see that it's going to prompt me to go ahead and connect and actually sign the transaction this way. Now, what I want to do is actually do it natively through the actual wallet itself. So I'm going to go ahead and just reject this here. And I'm just going to go back to the stake pool. And what I'm going to do is just pop this back open and I'm going to sign in to the actual wallet. Now, by default, we're going to be redirected to the portfolio section. And if you guys are not aware, the NuFi wallet will actually be a multi-chain wallet supporting Ethereum, Flow, Milkometa, Solana, and a few other blockchains. So if I jump down here into the staking section, by default, I'm going to be redirected to what is staking. But because I understand staking already, I'm going to jump back over into my staking. Now, from here, I'm going to be able to go ahead and actually select which pool I want to stake my Cardano or my ADA to. So under the Cardano section, I'm going to scroll all the way to the right hand side here. And then I'm going to click on start staking. Now, because I delegated prior using my NAMI wallet, this is the same exact wallet. It still acts as if it's if I'm still registered to the DAP central stake pool. So what I'm going to do here is just click on change validator. But by default, right, um, you if you're not staked to any pool, that would actually be empty. From here, all you need to do is go ahead and just type in DAP and select the DAP central stake pool. And then from here, you can verify all the pool assets and then click on continue in order to actually begin the delegation process. From here, all you would have to do is enter your spending password and then click on submit in order to actually begin delegating. Now, because it actually shows that I'm already delegated here, I'm not going to go ahead and do that. But that's the two ways that you can go ahead and delegate using the NuFi wallet. The first is going to be through the actual pool PM website where you just click on join here and then select NuFi. And then the second option is to actually go ahead and do it through the wallet itself by using the staking option here. So that said, let's move over to the third wallet, which is going to be the eternal wallet. Now, in order to delegate using the official eternal wallet through pool PM, we're just going to navigate back over here and search for the DAP central stake pool. I'm going to click on the pool again. I'm going to click on join. And this time, instead of selecting NuFi or NAMI, I'm just going to select on the eternal wallet. 
Now it's gonna open up a small pop-up here in my screen below. Let me just drag that up here for you guys to see. And just like before, right, we're now being prompted to directly sign the transaction. Now, before I can actually sign the transaction here, I need to connect to the website. And it's now gonna ask me to sign the actual transaction in my wallet. So it's popping up another screen here, which let me just bring that up here for you guys so you guys can see it. It's going to be right here. If I maximize that, you can see that all I need to do is enter my spending password and I can actually see the stake pool that I'm registering to, which is listed right here. Now, again, this is going to be the first method through pool PM. If I wanna do it through the wallet directly or natively, I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel this like so. We're gonna reload the stake pool page here and I'm gonna actually go open up the eternal wallet in a separate tab. From here, I've got the same exact wallet, right? And I'm gonna click on the wallet and then I'm gonna move over here to the staking icon or the staking section, and I'm gonna click on that. From here, all I need to do is type in the stake pool ticker, which is D-A-P-P. And as you guys can see, it's gonna be the first result being returned. Again, you can verify the stake pool ticker and the description. And then all you need to do is click on this delegate icon or the delegate button there. And then I can, again, just quickly enter my spending password. If I click on sign, we can now see that the transaction has been submitted. Now that is going to be it for how we can actually delegate using the eternal wallet. As you guys can see here, the eternal transaction has finished processing and I've just refreshed or reloaded the staking page where I can now see that I am delegated to the official DAP Central stake pool. So that's gonna be how we can walk through that process using the eternal wallet. The very last wallet I wanna show you guys how to delegate with is going to be the Uroi wallet. So in order to do that, I'm gonna take a quick break here. I'm gonna remove my delegation and then get ready to show you guys how we can do it again using Uroi. The last wallet I wanna walk through the process of delegating with is gonna be the Uroi wallet. Again, we can do so using the official connector from Pool PM. So I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and click on DAP, click on join, select the Uroi wallet, And we're now gonna be prompted to connect and sign our transaction. Again, because I don't wanna do it this way, I wanna show you guys how to do it within the wallet natively. I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly close this out. Now here we are within the official Uroi wallet itself. And so in order to delegate using the native application or using the native wallet, all we need to do is hover over the delegation list icon and click on that. And what it should do is very similar to Eternal, it will load all of the available stake pools. So I'm gonna click on here, search, and just type in DAPP, and then click on the magnifying glass icon to submit my search. We can now see the official DAP Central stake pool is listed here down below, and all I need to do is click on the delegate option here all the way on the right hand side. If I select that, I can go ahead and quickly enter my spending password, and then confirm my transaction. And there we go. That has been the process of delegating using the Uroi wallet. That is going to bring us to a close for today's video in which we've talked about how to delegate not only using NAMI, Uroi, Eternal, and NuFi all using or all through Pool PM, but we've also walked through how to actually delegate using the native wallet features themselves. Again, I know we are expecting additional wallets within the Cardano ecosystem, which include the Typhoon wallet as well as the Lace wallet. And as soon as those wallets are released on the main net, I'll make sure to go ahead and release additional tutorials covering those as well. I hope you guys found this video to be useful. Again, I want to say thank you to all the delegators that have delegated to the official DAP Central Stake pool. And again, this video is to help you guys out here in that delegation process. If you guys have any questions, make sure you leave them down below. If you found this video to be helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could tap that like button. And if it's your first time stumbling by the channel, then consider subscribing. Having said that, I will see you guys in the next video.